getting round. Introducing solo mode. Solo mode, yeah, it's the key. Isolate with ease for you to see. Monosec power to set your work free. Instant focus, deep precision. Fixed with speed and clear vision for tool bag four and five. Get solo mode now! So let's have a little bit more of a serious look at the plugin. So to launch it, we can just go to edit, plugin, solo mode, and launch. So plugin is very simple, the concept. It's just like in ZBrush or in Painter that we can solo one of the groups. So usually let's say, if we're working on a bake, and maybe we just wanna see how this piece of the bake is baking, and we wanna see like underneath how that's baking, Usually what I would do is I like click here, discover where it is, and then hide it, and then go here, and then hide it. Now, if you do this with enough groups, it's going to become pretty messy, the outline. Because you're just opening everything and you're hiding everything one by one. So the idea of the plugin is to just make this a lot more simple to isolate the group. So for example, we can say armor 2. And that will hide everything and will also collapse everything. As you noticed, let's say our outline, that's usually what I have when I'm when I'm baking. Everything just kind of becomes messy and everything starts being open and it's hard to navigate. So as you can see, if we now switch to straps one, everything will nicely collapse and we'll just select straps one. What we can also do is we can toggle the low and high from here. Usually you go to armor and they say show high and show low. It's a little bit nested and sometimes can be a bit difficult to find. So now we just have it right here. We can say, okay, show me the high, show me the low. Or we can say, show me both. So we can just go one by one and we can check for any potential bake issues or whatever. And we also have these buttons. Let's say if we want to go one by one, instead of opening this drop down every time and going to the next one, we can just say next. Or we can say previous. So you can see armor one, armor two, armor three. And then the final thing that we have, it's our cage opacity. So by adjusting this value, Every time you switch to a different group, it's going to automatically set the cage opacity to this value. So you don't need to go one by one and change the opacity. What I would recommend is that you keep this at zero, so you don't see the cage when you're switching from tool to tool. And if you need to see the cage, you can just put this. So for example, let's say you're starting off your bake. I would put this at one and then say, okay, only show me the high poly. Then we just go armor one, and then we can check if the offsets are correct. So for example, now we can say, okay, change the offset, take a look, now that's correct. We can go to the next one, we can check, that looks good, go to the next one. You can see that one doesn't look good, so we offset it, go to the next one. You can see like how nice and fast this becomes to brass your scene and just to quickly get a bake going. And that's all looking good. And then from that point, I would just put it to zero and actually start baking. And then it's just a matter of like going through the baking groups and seeing if you're getting any bake issues. So yeah, just a little nice plugin. It should help speed up the process a little bit and keep it a little bit more organized your scene whenever you're doing any baking in Marmoset. Especially if you're doing like a more complex scene, maybe a full character where you have like 40 to 50 bake groups. This is gonna help out a lot. So yeah, hope you enjoy it and you can find the link in the description.